Hello everyone, Base Golly here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. Now today's video, I want to talk about a car that everyone thinks is a little bit of a meme, okay? And that car is the Mitsubishi Evo, but not the Group 4 one, the Group 3 car. And that's the car we're in today because I genuinely believe, I do believe, that it is one of the best cars on this game. Because it's just, <laughs> I just think it's a beast. Yes, it is rubbish, rubbish in a straight line. But if you find a track without a straight line, I'm telling you, this, this car's a beast. It really, really is good. And I kind of want to showcase that to you guys on this circuit. Now, this car, or I should say, this track, we're going around Catalonia, which is uh, this week's Daily Race B, okay? And it does have quite a long main straight. But I'm going to try and prove to you guys that you can still get a good result out of this. So we're going to be starting at the back. Well, I said back. <laughs> we're going to be starting P4. It's hardly the back, is it? Um, but you're going to see the, the usual things ahead. So you've got the Dodge Viper in front of me. Uh, the NSX, uh, and then we've got a Renault, I believe, uh, the RSO1. So these cars, you know, they're all uh, relatively uh, quick, much stronger in a straight line than what the Evo is. But I want to show you guys what the Evo can do. So in this race, I'm going to be doing my very best to see what we can do. So we've got the first uh, corner, first couple of corners underway. Uh, the Viper, we're right on the back of the Viper straight away. It looks like he's going to go slightly wide here. I could look potentially for a move on the inside of the next corner. Be a little bit of a dive bomb, but he does defend it. So fair play to him, the Frenchman. But he goes a bit deep there, and I just managed to uh, swap past him. Now, a <laughs> little bit of a touch, so apologies for that. But I think I would have got the move done regardless. Really late on the brakes, which is what the Evo is really good at. I have to say the brakes are fantastic. Keeping it in third gear just for that extra stability. Uh, and we're up to third place now, so lovely stuff. Stuck behind the Honda NSX, the German, and then we've got the Frenchman uh, in the Renault. What a surprise. Um, but, yeah, so far, so good. A great start. No issues at all in the Evo. Uh, going through this sweeping right-hander. Uh, it's you, you almost blind, that corner, really, until you get across above it. Uh, and we're just going to go past. Can we get a big dive bomb on the Honda NSX? And this is what I mean by the brakes. Look how good the brakes are on this thing. I've nearly got two for price when I get absolutely uh, yeeted. Uh, by the NSX, clearly not happy with my superior uh, braking performance there, but honestly guys, I was so close to taking both of them. Uh, it was unbelievable, and the guy, the Frenchman in the Renault there, uh, loses the uh, tail of the uh, car in front of me, and he also gets a half second penalty uh, to go with his woes as well, so not a great start, but already, we started at P4, we're up to P2 now, and the leader has a half second penalty. Now this is where we will struggle, we do have the slipstream here, but we don't have to hop in. Now, he puts his indicator on for me to go to the left because he wants the inside of the next corner. And I'm not falling for that. I'm not having that. I want the inside of this next, this next right-hander. I want the inside of the corner. It's the better line to be in. So I've got the inside. It would just about get in front of him there. And that is us into P1. We're P1 already, guys. And, you know, I've not really done anything spectacular. But this this thing, I'm telling you, I really think you, got, you should, guys should give it a go. It's it, honestly, if, you know... Cars with top high top end are your more your kind of deal. Then don't you know don't go for this. But you know if you're more about the handling aspect of cars uh, and can put up with the lack of top end, just give this Evo a go. I swear it's one of the most underrated cars in this game. It's such a such a mean machine. Honestly, I know everyone goes on about the the Z4, the M3, uh, cars like that, but no one really talks about the Evo. And we need to talk about the um, the turbo on it as well. It's the, the engine sound is very boring, but the turbo... When it flutters, oh, it's unbelievable. It's such a good noise just to go with the uh, the car. Now, I'm not an Evo fanboy. Like, in real life, I'm, I'm a Subaru man. So, it, this is like a, <laughs> bigging up my arch rival here. But on this game, the car is fantastic. It, it, there's no there's no beating around the bush. It may not suit everyone, but for me, personally... I do enjoy it quite a bit, but uh, yeah, so far so good, we're almost two laps, well we're more than two laps in now, uh, we've just got this uh, chicane section here, I, I, I'll be honest with you guys, do, you, do any of you like it, because I certainly don't, do you prefer the old layout, I'd much rather go for that sweeping right hander, and they just have loads of speed going onto the main straight, let me know in the comments what you think, because I'd much prefer, I much prefer the old layout, the chicane section is, is really annoying, so we cross the lap there, and we do a 146.5, not the fastest in the world, but far from it, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad in the Evo, really, considering we're only two laps in. Uh, we can definitely improve on that, there's no doubt about that. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty pretty tidy lap, to be honest with you. And, um, yeah, you usually watched, uh, watched on board. No mistakes, really, from the Evo, just solid. It can 
you know, the rear end can step out a little bit if you do try and take the piss with it, but if you don't, uh, and you keep it controlled, um, yeah, it's just absolutely solid. But there you go. So, first sector done. That's not actually with any slipstream this time. Uh, and we're almost a tenth up, so not too shabby. First sector done. This one here, uh, you can break really late on the brakes in the Evo. It feels great. Uh, tuck it in tight uh, for the exit of this corner, and then just power out. Don't take too much of the green curb on the left-hand side, or right-hand side, I should say. Otherwise, you might be in a little bit of trouble. This one here as well. Uh, again, you could be late on the brakes in the Evo. Don't take the mick, though. Because uh, if you're just too late and you try and gain time of accelerating too quickly, going up the hill, you'll hit the right-hand curb and, yeah, you'll get a penalty, you'll spin out, you'll do something, uh, and it's just not worth it. So don't try and take the piss out of that corner too much, really, to be honest with you. Again, this corner here, with two temps up now in the middle sector, breaking so much later than the cones. Uh, it's unbelievable. You see the rear end just twitched a little bit on me there uh, as I was trying to accelerate in second gear. Maybe, potentially, third gear is the better option. I break a little bit too late there. Uh, and you can see I just went slightly wide, missed the middle of the apex. This corner here, absolutely nailed it, absolutely fine. I just don't like this section here because you have to, to get the most out of it, look, you have to cut the corner. You have to cut the corner, otherwise you're not going to be competitive. And you're not going to set quick time because it does cost you a lot if you try and not, if you try to, you know, take the race in line really on that one. It will cost you. But we cross the line again, we did improve once more. So we improved by a quarter of a second. Uh, and it was a 146.2. Now the Italian behind us uh, did set a 145.9. That's absolutely fine, but we're going to try our best now to absolutely nail this lap uh, and once more try and get the uh, purple lap time. But first corner's done, second corner, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, through here, is it fourth gear, is it third gear? I don't really know. This time I decided to stay in fourth gear, felt like the right thing to do, uh, powering out slowly to the left hand side, slightly touching the curb, again breaking way after the cones. You can almost ignore the cones in this car, it's completely, completely not needed. <laughs> I've left it on for you guys, but honestly, the breaking points in this car are so much different uh, to what the game thinks they should be. It's ridiculous. But this time, hitting the middle of the apex. Again, the rear end's a little bit twitchy coming out of there. We need to watch that. And through here once more, way after the cones. Just as the curb starts, I believe, on the right-hand side, it's probably the best place to do it. Uh, but we, yeah, we seem to nail that corner. Absolutely lovely. This one, again, you don't really see uh, the left side of the corner until you're over it. So until this point here, you don't really see the curb. So... It's, I'm, and I'm, on the, I'm in the hood cam, as the Americans would call it. So it's a little, you know, I can see a little bit more because of the height. Now we are improving. We're just a tenth up. It's not quite enough uh, to get the purple lap, which is a little bit disappointing. We'll try and push a little bit more through here. Now this time, we don't go too wide. We'll keep it nice and tight. We're tucked in, uh, stick it in third, uh, power all the way down, and then through here as well, just hitting the inside of the curb. This one here, it's just, again, this corner, very, very tricky. Take too much curb there, but nail the exit here. Nice and smooth, going through here, keeping it as tight as I can, powering into fourth gear, just heading for the straight line now, straight line, heading for the finish line. We're gonna cross the line, are we gonna go purple? No, we're not, but we've only missed out by about half a tenth there. That's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad for a car that's got no top end. So there you go, guys. Honestly, absolutely loved it. I thought it was a brilliant car. I fully uh, recommend you try it. Just see how you get on. It might not be for everyone, but I hope this showcases to you guys how good this car can be uh, if you do manage to control it. But um, there we go, guys. Really, really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you guys give it a try. And uh, yeah, have a lovely week. Uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll uh, I'll see you for the next one, guys. Take care. Ta-da.